As event and wedding photographers, being able to edit large groups of photos is extremely important for us. I mean, generally from a wedding, we're coming home with a thousand to 4,000 photos that we need to call through and edit in a quick manner. Running a business is not easy, so you don't wanna spend all of it editing photos. So let's talk about three tips to get you editing quicker in Capture One. Also, thank you to Capture One for sponsoring this video, which there's a link in the description for you all where you can check out Capture One and also get a discount on it if you haven't used it yet. And if you haven't had a chance to see me editing in Capture One or you're curious about the program, definitely check out some of my live streams down below in the description. You can see me using Capture One in a live setting to see if it's something that you want to try out. But let's go ahead and get into these three tips which will speed up your workflow. Starting out with calling and filtering your images. Calling your images is probably the most important thing that you can do for your workflow. If you have a thousand photos, being able to cull those down to 500, 300 or 200 photos and only focus on those 200 photos will speed up your whole workflow. When I'm culling out my images, I love to use the number system. So starring my photos by number. And you can do this easily in Capture One. Generally while I'm viewing my photos, I'm gonna use my left and right arrow to go through my photos and use five star to pick all the photos that I want. You can see in the browser below, whenever I choose a photo, it'll have five stars right under it. And keep in mind, you can also rate your photos by color and one through five stars. So anything you want to sort your photos, the best way that works for your workflow. And for a huge tip with culling, I like to use what I call the yes method of culling. The yes method is choosing the photos that you want rather than focusing on the photos that you don't want. Basically, as humans, it's much easier for us to say yes to something. And because of that, I speed up my culling with the yes method rather than always Xing out the photos that I don't want. So again, using the left and right arrows, I go through all my photos and I five star everything I want to keep. Another approach to culling is just not to import all your photos. I personally love to import all my photos and call after that, but if you'd rather not import everything, Inside the import viewer, you can choose which photos you want to import. Select each of your photos by choosing the checkbox under each photo. And this way you can choose only the photos that you want to import. Then when you have everything you want to import, click the import photos down in the bottom right corner. From there, I'm going to filter down my photos so I can only focus on the ones that I want to edit. To filter your photos in Capture One, under the library, go down to your filters and you'll see all your stars and or color ratings there. By clicking on a rating, you can see all the photos under them. And one thing that's nice as well is you can see all the different ratings and also how many photos fall below those ratings as well. So generally, I'll click on the five stars, see all my five star photos, and then I can just focus on those photos and edit alone. Next up for speeding up your workflow is gonna be using styles and presets. So I know some people are kind of weird about using presets on their photos, but trust me, when you're an event photographer, getting that speed of editing is everything. And having a specific look that you love for your photos honestly goes a long way. I actually just talked about that in my building a portfolio video, which I'll leave in the description as well. But if you're a wedding photographer or event photographer, having a consistent look and style is very important for your brand. You can pull that off extremely easily with presets. And since we're talking about Capture One styles, I have finally put together the Natural Fills preset for Capture One, which I am super, super excited about. That will be in the description below as well. But that's what I'm gonna be using on all of my photos. Y'all have already seen it, and it looks just as good in Capture One. So styles are built into Capture One. You can see them here under the Styles tab. All of the styles built into Capture One look amazing, and there's a lot to choose from. But if you're looking for something else, you can head over to Capture One's website where you can purchase more styles. However, if you have your own custom styles like the Natural Fills preset, you can easily install those. Go under Adjustments, Styles, and Import Styles. Or if you have your files anywhere on your computer, you can just double click them and they will go ahead and install right into Capture One. Now the way styles speed up my edits is the fact that I can go to a photo, quickly apply my style, and then from there make the adjustments I need like exposure and white balance. And after that, my photos are pretty much done. This is again why I stick to using just one style because basically all my photos are gonna look the same 
and the type of adjustments I need to make are quick and easy. And speaking of making adjustments to your photos and doing that quickly, one of my absolute favorite features of Capture One is the speed edit. This will be the third thing you'll want to do to speed up your edits. With speed edit, there are key commands that you just have to hold down and will give you quick access to different adjustments on your photos. So for example, if I hold down Q, I get quick access to exposure. By doing this, I can use up or down on my keyboard and make adjustments to the exposure as well. I don't have to go in and drag any sliders, anything of that sort. I absolutely love this. Now, not only can I do quick edits like that for a bunch of different features like Kelvin, intent, shadows, highlights, exposure, everything I would want, you can also do this on multiple photos at a time. So if you're a wedding photographer or event photographer, one of the biggest things I love to do is edit by scene. And when I say scene, I mean when I was in the same spot for a couple of photos. So for example, if my bride is getting into her dress, I know that I'm having her set up in this one place and most of the photos are gonna look generally the same. The lighting is not gonna change too much. So because of that, I can select a whole group of photos and use the speed edit to adjust the exposure and contrast, highlights and shadows on all those photos at the same time. And what's nice about that as well is you don't even have to really copy and paste your settings. You can literally just batch edit with the speed edit all of the photos at one time. And honestly, at this point, this is my preferred way of editing photos in Capture One just because it's so fast. And I actually personally don't like having to slide sliders. So being able to use the up and down on my keyboard is game changing for me. So by filtering out your photos and culling them down using styles and also speed editing, this is how you can become an extremely fast editor in Capture One and handle all of your events and your weddings in a quick manner so you're not wasting all your time and you can do something else with your life. Again, don't forget about the discount you can get on Capture One in the description below and let me know if these tips helped you all out and or if you have any other Capture One tips that you would like to see. I hope this was helpful for you all and don't forget to check out the Natural Fills preset for Capture One and I will catch you all next time.